What's up guys, it's Strack, and this is another one from the Air Warriors new line of Busby Blasters, and this is pretty sweet. It's the Tactical Storm now. At first, it's hard to get excited about this blaster because it looks so basic, but with that, uh, that relatively simple, I guess, sort of operation that it's going to come with, it also comes with a killer price. It's selling for an MSRP of under 20 United States dollars. I want to say it's 16 at its MSRP, and with that, you get a ton of stuff, like way more than uh, Hasbro ever would give you with a blaster like this a Hasbro doesn't sell primaries at this price like let's be honest this is a pretty clear analog to the retaliator recon sort of deal and uh, it is less expensive so the tactical storm is a kind of modular platform it's got this barrel attachment it's got this stock which I haven't really played with before but they also give you enough darts to load up both magazines I think it's gonna come with 20 of not just regular darts but their new long-distance darts and it comes with two clips, or clipazines, or magazines, depending upon how tactical you want to be. But, uh, two clips for easy reloading. Wish the stickers came off for easy, uh, clean removal. I don't think that anybody wants to leave their easy reloading sticker on. However, uh, the blaster comes with more stuff than, than your average. So this would be like a double your darts package, uh, is the Hasbro equivalent. However, it's a double your darts package that comes with nice darts and the magazine to uh, to reload with. So it's kind of a, a loadout, sort of, all-in-one. Um, they did a really good job of loading up these darts. Uh, I will talk briefly about these darts. They're very similar to Elite darts. However, they've got a different tip profile, which I assume... Uh, Busby has found to be more aerodynamic. I'm not going to make any claims about it. I don't have a wind tunnel. Um, but if it truly gets the ranges of 100 feet that it's claiming, then that's going to be pretty sweet. So it is a compact, again, like it could be a pistol, it could be a primary, but it's definitely not a pseudo-primary. It was designed with primary status in mind, given that it has a stock and a barrel attachment. So it primes retaliator style. It's got that top slide. It's got a built-in iron sight, and then this stock is sort of funky. I don't really know what the deal is with it. It looks like it removes that way with kind of like some spring clips, and it is entirely proprietary. I brought out my Thermal Hunter stock so that I could test that, but uh, that's not going to fit, not in a million years. This uh, fits on. However, it's not, I'll, I'll be honest, the first gripe is that it's not a really good stock. It's way too short. So this is not a great stock. Similarly, this is not a foregrip. Since the magazine is so far forward, you will find yourself using the uh, the magazine as the grip, but uh, that is just an extended sci-fi-esque barrel. Uh, it shouldn't induce a lot of barrel drag just because of how large the inner diameter is. I will not be using it for the purposes of this review. It's cool that you can do all of these things. However, I think that this is honestly best, just like I think that the Retaliator is best, uh, if the Retaliator does not have a pump action kit on it, I just prefer it in regular, small, compact Retaliator mode. So, uh, some of you guys are really into the, uh, the modular tacticalness of it, trying to, like, build a custom blaster. I'm a very practically focused, uh, operator in foam blasting world, so we're gonna leave it in pretty basic mode. I'll leave the stock on just because... Uh, truth be told, I think that it looks a little silly without the stock on, and there is no rail attachment point on it. However, the Tactical Storm looks pretty good. I wish that this handle was on the, uh, the Thermal Hunter, because this handle is pretty good. There's plenty of room for my hand. The trigger, uh, well here is large enough to accommodate my trigger finger, and it's got a pretty crisp pull. I've never been a big believer of this top prime. I know that a lot of people prime them this way. I know that some people prime them this way. I've always wanted them to have a retract feature so that you could yank and release, but this one does not. So you have to pull the bolt all the way back and then all the way forward. Now, let's, uh, we've talked about it plenty. Let's go ahead and load it up and fire it. Again, this, uh, this weird push button release here takes some getting used to if you're very, uh, nerf wired, but it's not, it's not bad. I've, I've gotten used to it and the more of these I review, the less it bothers me. Uh, let's fire. We should be getting 100 foot ranges, which means that we should break this tree line. That is, of course, with an angle, so let's start with that. Not quite. Much closer. These are going kind of wild. They're a far cry from the, uh, 
the accurate darts that Busby's been using. I like these a lot. The precision pro darts as they are. Let's see if this one goes straight. And it does. I think those are the best one, guys. That got our ranges. Firing angled is, is funky. Decent power out of this blaster. Again, it has to be tougher than your average uh, Nerf Elite spec, just because if it wasn't tougher than the Elite spec, they couldn't make range claims like that. They, they need that to ensure that they're getting the performance that they claim. Oh, man. It is still disturbed. Reset the blaster board's targets. These guys should still be live, I think, on Kickstarter. Uh, well worth checking out. I love these targets. They are a good visual indicator of accuracy and even uh, power in some ways if you get a good direct hit. So let's fire. Difficult to aim this. Again, I just want to point out the, uh, the shouldering process here is kind of embarrassing. The stock is tiny. Nope. Oh, man. Wow. So they uh, they get very long ranges, guys, but um, very difficult to hit things, even at a, a close range like this. I will, uh, I'll let you guys be the judge. Either I got really terrible at shooting foam dart blasters, or something went horribly wrong. Um... So with no rail attachments, the last thing that I want to do is test the compatibility with a Nerf uh, in-strike standard magazine. This is a double dealer magazine, and unlike the Thermal Hunter, which had plastic coming down, interacting with this bumper, it seems to chamber cleanly and just fine. Hilariously, we're uh, actually hitting much closer to the blaster board's target with uh, the waffle tip dart. So I wish I had nicer things to say about the long range darts. They do go very long distances. And again, this package is so cheap and you get two 10 round magazines. You get the blaster itself. It's not that bad. This would be a fine HVZ loadout for under 20 bucks in and of itself. I think that uh, given the cross compatibility with all the other magazines on the market, there's nothing, nothing wrong with the tactical storm. It's super cheap. It's very uh, reasonable in terms of its like package. You get plenty of darts, plenty of magazines, and the blaster itself. I like this blaster. I don't like either of the attachments, but the handle is very nice, and I'm I'm learning to love the. Uh, I can even reach it on this one, so that's a that's a bonus. So here we go. You guys ready? Oh yeah. Coop would be so proud. All right, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. Hope it helps you make an informed product purchasing decision. As always, much love. Nerf on, Drac out. Uh, 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 uh.